everybody welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new this is only my second video so you haven't missed much if you're just now tuning in today we are going to be filming my 2020 empties I dipped my toes into panning last year and I kept all of my empties just to see kind of how long it took to use things up and um, I posted everything on Instagram. It's the same name as on here, Amy Jo Penning and more. If you want to subscribe there, I do plan on being more active and showing more day-to-day -day updates on any pans or when I was tempted to buy something and I didn't. So go head on over there if you want to stay tuned on that. And let's get into it. Okay, starting with the boring stuff, I have a bunch of brow blades once they're dull. They're empties. I have this moon mousse that you can use for repressing powder products like you would for isopropyl alcohol. And I have two beauty sponges. These, they weren't used all the way, but because of different situations, I'm counting them as empties. For example, this Murad blotting perfector dried out in my car. Here we go. So that's why that's considered an empty. This e.l.f. brow and liner pomade was not the right shade. I tried making it work. I used about half of it, so I'm counting that as an empty. Oops, now I got it on my bed. ColourPop Jelly Mud Shadow dried out. Tried reviving it, did not like the consistency. And then this Ipsy Betty Boop liner. The cap came off when I had it stored, and I never got to use it. Now, in February, I chopped my hair off, and I was buying all kinds of stuff to try and help my hair grow faster so that's why I saved these as empties. I have some liquid collagen, two different liquid collagens, collagen pills, hair skin vitamin gummies, and hair skin vitamin pills. And then these are all the candles I used up. These are those really big ones from the Dollar Tree. These burn forever. And then this one, Peony. This one's a Febreze one. So these are all the candles I used this year. For skincare, these are all the sheet masks I've used. I've got Pacifica, Tea Tree Soothing Mask, I got a Tula one. This Detox Mud Facial is actually just a sheet mask. It's not, absolutely not a mud mask. And then I have some toning pads, a bubble mask, nose pore strip, it was the last one I had and my e.l.f. blotting sheets. And then for cleansers, I have two Murads. I have an e.l.f. and then these are all minis. Biore, Bliss, Exfolicate, Murad, don't know how to pronounce that one, Clinique, and a Cure. For toners, I have The Ordinary, and then I have this one from BoxyCharm. Kors is the brand name. And then I have BoxyCharm Cleansing Balm, I also have a mini from Good Molecules and a sample one that my friend gave me, which is this one. And then she also gave me this Honey Mask mini sample, and I love this one so much I bought the full size. For masks, I have the Glow Recipe Sleeping Mask, Dermalogica, Murad, Perlis. You can see I cut them all. Vichy, and then, then Grace and Stella. For serums, this one here, I kept the box. There's nothing in it. My friend gave me a sample, so I kept the box as a reminder when I finished that up. I ended up buying my own. I have three from Revolution. I have two Honeymoon Glows. I have the Pineapple Glow Recipe Serum. V, Strivectin, Derma E. I bought a full size of this one. I have two eye creams and I have two eye cream samples. And then this one is moisturizer, SPF, and a face oil. So that's all my skincare. For body care, I don't have that much. I don't normally buy myself shower gels, so I only have one, and this one took me like a year and a half to finish. I have one bubble bath, vanilla mint, I have one, it's a hand cream, but I used it for my body, so I'm counting it here. I do have, I did finish two of these. 
and I posted it on Instagram. I made a DIY body scrub, didn't like it, and I tossed the whole thing, forgetting to keep the container. So I have two empties of this, and one of this one's also a body and hair scrub. I have a mini perfume, I believe I still have the bottle up, and a Hot Topic roller perfume that took me ages to finish. And then last is my handy dandy Epsom salt. Okay, so another um, big category I have is hair care. Only one dry shampoo, and I'm doing the Curly Girl method, so this is my one and only co-wash. Decided I don't like doing that, so I don't have any more of those. Two full-size shampoos, two minis, one mini conditioner, one full-size, or two full-size and then deep conditioner, and then one Olaplex treatment, and then this goes in the wrong spot. So leave-in conditioner, one and two, and then hair stylers, I've got mixed chicks, redefining foam, aloe vera gel I kind of used as a pre-poo treatment, and then these are all stylers, leave-in conditioner, that one, styler, and these are hair elixirs for, it's a density serum, didn't really see an improvement, but I bought two since it was a deal for two. I do have colored hair. I have one of those and then the little booster drops. And these are a little sample sachets from Jessie Curls, two from Coconut, and one from Miss Jessie's. And now we're towards the end. I have some nail care stuff. I plan on reusing this container. I was really bad at keeping the nail stuff, so that's all I have for that. I have one top coat, two top coats, and three glues. And then for the little bit of makeup I have, I have a brush cleaner. I didn't know where else to put it. Setting spray, setting spray, primer spray, and a mini setting spray. I have one, two, three liquid eyeshadows, one liquid lipstick, two concealers. This is a MAC foundation sample. I have a brow gel. This was a $1 AOA from Shop Miss A brow powder. A little piece did break off, but I used all of the rest. And I'm counting this as an empty, even though it was a free sample from Sephora because this took a long time to use. This is uh, the ABH pomade. I also have two brow pencils, Wander Beauty and the AOA brand, purple, brown, and a teal eyeliner, two mascaras, and three powder products. This was just a transition shade from Profusion Eye Palette. And these were for the same palettes of bronzer and a blush. So not a lot of powder, uh, but 2020 makeup wasn't the best. Next year though. And that was everything I used in 2020. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. I will be starting a series of my 2021 inventory, which is right there. So see you in the next video.